Hello everyone, Julia here. Hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. And today's video is about my planners and journals 2023 setup. As promised, I will show you all the journals that I'm going to use in 2023. Uh, some of these are new, uh, some of them you already know and saw them on this channel or on my Instagram. Uh, I started some of these journals this year or even last year and haven't finished yet, but going to continue them in 2023. And it's quite a lot. Now I can see all of them in front of me here. You can see this huge pile. but. I can see all that and it's a lot and I think I will start from journals and will try to put them to some categories more or less. So those journals that are very similar, I will show them together and will put them in one category. And I think I will start from junk journals and this journal you already know, you saw this journal on my YouTube channel quite a few times. And in my in one of my previous videos about uh, journals of 2022, I showed this journal too. I finished one insert in this journal this year and also started another one, but haven't finished it yet and I really like this journal so I'm going to continue it uh, next year and I still have here quite a few pages, a bit more than half I think. So I'm going to finish this next year and then probably will make a new cover, a similar cover like this one in Traveler's Notebook style that I can exchange the inserts when they are full, but I think I will make a new cover or maybe even still will use this one. I really like this cover, but I was using it already for more than a year, I think, and um, I think that it's time to make something new. Yeah, so this will be my junk journal for the next year for everything, for all the seasons. I'm not doing seasonal journals anymore, as I said in the previous video. And another junk journal that I also want to continue next year, it's this little pocket size journal. This one I also started in the beginning of this year, I think, but I wasn't using this journal a lot. I don't know why, but somehow I kind of forgot about this journal for a while. So I made only a few pages uh, in the beginning of the journal. And as you can see, it's quite big. So there are still many pages to work on. And I really like this nice small kind of pocket size that you also can take with you. And I finally decorated the cover of this journal and I'm going to use this next year too, together with this one. So these are two junk journals that I'm going to use next year. Both are from this year, not new. When I finish them, I will probably start new ones then sometime next year. Then I think I will show you this bigger journals next. This one you saw also on this channel, that's a relatively new journal and it's dedicated to Middle Earth and to Professor Tolkien works, all his books. Yeah, so this is a Middle Earth journal. I finished a big fantasy journal this year. I was showing it in the previous video. And after I finished it, I decided to start this themed journal uh, dedicated to Tolkien and all his works. And I made only a very few pages in this journal this year. And I think it will take me a few years for sure to finish this journal, but I'm not in a rush. And this is a journal only for very specific mood for some special day when I just want to sit down, take out all my stickers and papers that I have related to Middle Earth and make a page uh, about one of the books or some characters from Tolkien's books or just write down my favorite quotes or something like that. So 
I don't know how long it will take me to finish this journal, but I definitely will continue to use it in 2023. And again, I lost the sticker, this magic sticker, and I already fixed it with a glue, but somehow it still doesn't stick really well. Yeah, so this is a fantasy journal, but dedicated only to one author and his world of Middle Earth. Uh, this journal I haven't shown yet anywhere and it's not really finished yet. It's kind of like just a base for the journal, I would say. Uh, cover is mostly finished. I will add maybe a few things to the cover, but uh, I think it's mostly finished. I just still want to add maybe something here. And the inside, inside I also have two inserts, so it's kind of like Traveler's Notebook style journal with two inserts. And they are also kind of ready, mostly it's just plain paper, blue or purple or coffee dyed paper. And uh, that was made on purpose. I didn't add here almost any other kinds of papers except the cover of the insert and one book page. All other papers are kind of plain papers because I'm going to use this journal for writing quotes and for making different pages and I wanted to have a plain background for this journal. And this is another fantasy journal also dedicated to one specific author and one specific fantasy world. And maybe you already can guess looking on this which author and which fantasy world it is. I think if you read his books, you probably know who is it. And yeah, this is one of my absolutely favorite authors and absolutely favorite fantasy worlds. And I decided to make another journal similar to this Tolkien journal, but dedicated to my second favorite author and second favorite fantasy world. And it's Brandon Sanderson. If you didn't recognize the character that I was showing or the character on the cover, uh, it's Brandon Sanderson. This journal is dedicated to all works of Brandon Sanderson and first of all, all Cosmere, like the Stormlight Archive, most of all, Mistborn, Warbreaker, Elantris, and basically all Cosmere books. And yeah, as I said, it's not 100% finished yet. I just made a base and I still will be working on the cover and maybe also will still add a few tiny details inside, but I'm not going to decorate uh, the inserts, the inside pages. I just will start to use it right away. And I also want to write down here many quotes from different books of Brandon Sanderson, something, add some things about my favorite characters, favorite books, some artworks, postcards that I have, stickers and stuff like that. And these two journals are kind of similar, like two fantasy journals dedicated to two favorite authors and two fantasy, favorite fantasy worlds. This is like all what I love about fantasy, these two worlds and these two authors, that's what I love most about fantasy. And if I already started to show uh, fantasy journals, there is another one, because of course I couldn't leave out all other fantasy books and series uh, that I read and also some fantasy TV series. So I also have this journal. I started this journal sometime in summer, I guess, uh, after I finished my first fantasy journal. And this one is basically a collection of everything, uh, different collages dedicated to my favorite books and some TV series. Stormlight Archive, again, uh, when I was making this, I still didn't have this journal, so uh, this first page is also Stormlight Archive, Brandon Sanderson, and yeah, so there are different things. 
So basically I was making these pages when I was reading or re-reading, in this case, some of my favorite books or watching the series or movies and right after that usually I was in the, mo in the mood to make something dedicated to those series. This is Wheel of Time and I think I made this when I finished Wheel of Time, when I finished um, Memory of Light, the last book in the Wheel of Time series, Stranger Things and more Stranger Things. I really loved the new season and House of the Dragon and I think that's all. So I'm, now I am right in the middle of this insert. So this is just a traveler's notebook insert with collages and I will continue to use it next year. And when this one is finished, I think I will start another one and uh, it will be for all other fantasy books and series except Brandon Sanderson's and Tolkien's books. And this other insert that I have here, it's a new insert that I'm going to start next year. And this one will be an insert for collages, just all other kinds of collages. In my previous video, I was showing you a few inserts with collages that I finished um, this year. So this will be a new one just for all other kinds of collages, mostly probably nature and travel collages as always. For collages, I love most of all inserts with craft paper. So I will be using this lovely craft paper insert from Traveler's Company, collaboration with Manual Factory, with this cool Manual Factory bear. I got this one from a friend from Japan. So I will be using this next year for collages. And, and I put them together in this cover for the moment. I think sometime I probably will have to take out one of these inserts and find another cover because I'm pretty sure that they will get quite chunky and very bulky and won't really fit in this cover or it will be just very uncomfortable to use it. So eventually I will take out one of these inserts from this cover, but now they fit really nicely together. So for the moment I will keep them together. And I think now I will continue with the topic of books and movies because I already started a bit with my fantasy journals. So I think now I just will continue the topic of books on, and movies because there will be more journals dedicated to books and movies. So first I will show you this one. Uh, this is my book journal now already for two years and this one is very chaotic i would say or kind of okay it's not really chaotic but uh, i noticed that this year i wasn't using this journal very much and in the beginning of this journal i have all the books that i want to read sometime I write down here all the book recommendations from friends, all that I find online. I also watch uh, videos on YouTube about books. So if I find something interesting there, I write down all the books that I plan to read sometime here. Sometimes it happens that I want to read something, write it down here and then after a while, I already don't want to read it anymore. It's not interesting. So then if that happens, I just will cross it out and it's okay. But mostly it's uh, mostly it works really well and it helps me not to forget uh, everything what I want to read. And so there are some general pages, just basically everything mixed. And mostly it's fantasy books because that's what I read the most. But there are also some pages dedicated to specific series or one author, like for example, Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time, I, I finished to read Wheel of Time already. I read everything, all additional materials and everything. But when I started this journal, I still was reading Wheel of Time 
also Dresden Files, that's something that I'm reading now and I think this year I will finish it already. I have to update this journal because it's not up to date at all. I finished this too a while ago. This is Terry Pratchett pages and as you can see I read everything, every every single thing that he wrote except maybe a few short stories. And Stephen King and more Stephen King. So yeah, the first part of this journal is books that I plan to read, that I want to read, different lists, more or less separated by some categories or authors and also some general list. And second part, um, in 2021 I was writing down all my books in this journal, I made this bookshelves and also wrote a list of all books that I read uh, with dates when I started and finished, how many pages and my rating, like how many points out of 10, how much I liked the book. And in 2022 I also started to do the same, but then it's, it's just basically a list and it's also not updated. Last time when I updated this journal it was still in October and since October I read, I read many more books, so I still have to update this journal and finish all my uh, book lists of 2022. And I still will continue to use this journal, especially the first part of it where I have all the books that I want to read and I will add the new books. But I decided that I want to dedicate more time to book journaling in 2023 and start another journal. So basically this insert that I also got from a friend will be my book journal for the next year. And what I want to do in this journal is to write more about the books that I read, also maybe print out a small uh, photos of covers of the books that I read and also write the date when I started and finished, my rating and stuff like that and maybe some about some books I also want to write more if it's something if it was something really special and if I really loved the book then I definitely want to write more about that book and maybe add some favorite quotes from the book and stuff like that that I'm not going to do this for all the books that I read because I read more than 100 books a year and it's just way too many to journal about every single book. Uh, but for some really special books, some books that I loved a lot, I'm going to take more time and journal about that book and save some favorite quotes and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to try this other format of book journaling I saw on YouTube, really cool book journals from some other people. Um, I would like to try something similar. And this other insert here, uh, titled Media Journal, will be dedicated to all other kinds of media that I will be consuming in 2023. So it will be most, mostly movies and TV series, I guess. Also maybe some uh, YouTube channels that I watch, uh, podcasts and that I listen and stuff like that. So all other kinds of media. I want to try to track the things that I'm actually watching and listening and how much time I spend on that and also add maybe some prints of movie posters or series and write down something uh, if I liked something about that movie or TV series, also maybe some quotes or some interesting things, interesting facts. And this one, this is a dated insert, but it's 2023 to, as you can see, weekly dated inserts. I was showing this in one of the previous videos and it doesn't bother me at all that it's dated because I will be decorating it similar to my bullet journal. So basically this part will be covered anyway and I will add there my 
own stickers with dates so this will be decorated and i also want to decorate these pages at least a little bit so this calendar will be more like a background and i want to try to do it in weekly format because first of all i really like this um, vertical format and i just want to write down what i watch or listen to uh, every day or at least to try it and i don't watch movies or tv series every day something during the week for sure but not every day so i think it's enough space for that and especially that i want to add some decorations also so i just want to try this new format i also saw a few really interesting media journals from some people on youtube and on instagram and also decided to try to do it myself and kind of to track all the movies and series and some other stuff that i watch or listen uh, so this will be some of the new journals for the next year or new formats of old journals and this one also will be a new journal and i will put this one also in one of the traveler's notebook covers i still didn't know into which one but i already decorated the front page of this insert and inside and i called this a stationary journal and as you can guess it will be dedicated to stationary it will be mostly dedicated to things new things that i get during the week also and of course i also don't get something every day but at least once a week i get something new um, some things that i order or some stuff from friends um, almost every week so i want to use this journal to track all the things that i get so i will be writing down here if i got something some package and here to use this page basically for packaging for using the packaging because usually stationery comes in a very pretty packaging and with some freebies and stuff like that and i always include that in my journals so i also want to use some of that stuff in here i just like to save the beautiful packaging and maybe try out already some new things that i got and here just write down what i got and I think I would have to skip some weeks, but it's okay. I can just decorate them with something else then. And my main idea about this journal and my hopes for this journal is that this journal will help me to be more mindful about the things that I order because I already have a lot of stationery and I'm not saying that I won't order anything new next year but I hope that this journal will help me to track the things actually what I order and what I get maybe I also will write down here things that I ordered if I place an order on this day then I will write down what I ordered and maybe also also how much it was and also here like if i got something that i ordered earlier i think something like that i'm not sure yet uh, how is it going to look i guess i will see when i will start it in january but i hope that this journal will help me to track all the things that i order and like be more mindful about it. and not to order things that maybe are really cute and cool but that i'm not really sure if i will be using or when i will be using those things and how i will be using them so just be more mindful about the things that i order and if I order something, then it should be something really special, something that I really want to have and something that I know that I will use it right away and that I will appreciate it. And I think I also will include here some things that I got uh, from friends, some happy mails and stuff like that. And also will use some of the things from those happy mails, like maybe for making a collage on this page. Uh, I will be including here only things that I order for my personal use all the stuff that i order for work like for my journals that i make for etsy and sell there or like sticker paper on which i print my stickers it won't be uh, here because it's it's something else like work related stuff is separated from this this is only uh, the, for the stuff and for my personal use like for my journaling hobby so I hope that this was this journal will help me 
to be a bit more mindful about the stuff I order because sometimes I can go a bit overboard and order too many things. It doesn't happen very often, but still I want to be more mindful and use that stuff that I already have. So let's see how it goes and I think it will be just fun in the end of the year to see all the new things that I got, happy mails from friends and some new stuff that I bought. And it will be interesting to go through this journal and yeah, as I said, I'm going to save all the pretty packaging and try out some of the, the new things right away in this journal. So I think it should be fun. Then uh, next category is travel journals. Of course I'm going to start new travel journals and I think there will be a few uh, during the year and I decided to use a combination of this two, this uh, Traveler's Notebook Tokyo Station Edition. I used it uh, this year and at the moment I still have the um, insert from this year. I'm going to finish it soon and then I will exchange it for a new insert and we'll be using this next year too. And I'm going to use uh, this insert next year and this one is from Portal edition, uh, special edition of this year and also this self-made insert. I also like to make inserts for my travel journals myself, so I will be using this two definitely. One of them will be for short trips, one for some of the longer trips. If there will be any, I hope that there will be some. Um, and maybe it will be even more in the end, not only this two, but even more. And I also decided to try a new format. Um, I never used passport size traveler's notebook as my travel journal. I used this as my daily journal, kind of like a diary of good moments this year. But I also decided to try this out and use it for uh, short trips. If it's a one day trip, then I think the size should be enough. Uh, so I already decorated um, one insert for short trips and this one a short trips refill, like a smaller insert with 32 pages instead of 64. So I think for trying out this format for travel journaling, it should be fine. And this will be like really for very short trips, just one day trips and maybe like two days trips sometimes, maybe, but mostly for one day trips. Want to try to use also passport size traveler's notebook as a travel journal. So I will be using a combination of this two with different inserts and I'm going to make more inserts like this one myself. Uh, so. In my travel journal setup, not so much new except for uh, this new edition of passport size as a travel journal. I never used passport size as a travel journal, so it will be something new for me. Uh, then something else that is also kind of related to uh, traveling this journal that I started this year and I call it countries journal and here I'm making collages dedicated to countries of the world and my plan is to make a collage for each country and first I was making collages uh, dedicated to countries where I lived myself at least for a while and that's four countries and um, now I'm making collages about the countries that I visited and it's still will take quite a while because I'm kind of slow with this journal and I don't plan to finish it anytime soon. You can imagine that to make more than 200 collages for each country it will take a while but yeah I, I think it's kind of like a fun long-term project and I'm really enjoying it but um, I don't make collages in this journal very often. I need some special mood for that. So yeah, for the moment it's just a very few pages still, but I'm going to continue this 
uh, next year and I think it also belongs to the uh, travel journals category because in a way it's also my way to document my trips and I also plan to make collages dedicated to countries where I've never been to. Uh, then I think I will show you my music journal and album that I'm going to use for documenting concerts. So this one I also started this year and this is like a little journal dedicated to my favorite music and concerts and festivals that I visited this year with, with photos and uh, tickets. But sometimes I also make here just some random pages about the songs uh, that I currently like and listen to on repeat, like for example in July I really liked the cover of Running Up That Hill soundtrack to Stranger Things uh, but a metal cover version and I listened to that song like I don't know 200 times or maybe even more so sometimes I also document some things like this and it's everything about music and concerts and I will continue this journal next year I haven't finished it this year I also had a bigger version of this like kind of concerts and festivals album. I showed it in my previous video and that one is finished and I'm going to start something similar next year. This one uh, I had this travelers company ring uh, notebook and I didn't know how I can use it and so I decided that I will be using this one next year and it will be just for basically collecting tickets from concerts or festivals and some photos that I will print and will stick here. It has actually really many pages and I don't know if I can use it all and pages are very thin so let's see if this notebook will be good for that or not but I'm going to try it and I still want to decorate the cover a little bit I just started to decorate it so it's not finished yet and another journal that I'm going to start is a new black and white journal I am showing you now my old journal that I already finished uh, this year and I don't have a new journal yet for my black and white journal and I'm not sure about the size of it I'm still thinking about it so that's why I can't show you a new journal now but I have black paper uh, and this time I'm going to make my black and white journal myself just using that black paper that I have but I haven't decided on size of it yet so you will see the new journal a bit later sometime in 2023 but of course I'm going to start a new black and white journal too that was one of my favorite journals of this year so I will continue with it then I also was showing uh, daily journals in my previous video and I still have here uh, this November journal of 2022 and this one is my December daily journal so I'm using both of this now because I'm recording this in December still but when this are finished I will use this cover for for the next daily insert and I think I will be using this one really beautiful cover and it will be my new daily journal for January so and that's basically the journal where I collect different things from the day like some uh, small ephemera if I got something in the mail or um, if I went somewhere and have some ticket or something like that and also write down a good moments of every day I started with this practice last year and I really love it so this will be my next daily journal and in my previous video I showed different sizes of daily journals that I had in 2022 and next year I also will change my daily journals sometimes now I really like this regular size for my daily journal but I'm pretty sure that sometime during the year I also will be using this uh, small passport size like I did uh, last year 
uh, this traveler's not notebook passport size inserts maybe also some different sizes something in the middle um, but at the moment i am in in the mood to use the bigger size for my daily journal so i will use this insert for my new daily journal together with this cover and this self-care journal i started in in july uh, this year and this one is basically just some things that I'm trying to do for my mental and physical health some routines that I try to follow like morning routine evening routine and stuff like that like so just some small things that help me to improve some health issues and stuff like that like some exercises for for my back to deal with my back pain and also some things that help uh, with my anxiety disorders and stuff like that so i will continue to use this uh, next year and sometimes i add here some new things and it still has plenty of pages so i'm going to use this next year something else new that i'm going to start next year is this tiny journal mini mini journal i've never had such a small journal and i got this as a gift from a friend so i want to try it i saw on instagram uh, some people using this mini mini journals like in the mini traveler's notebook but i never had one like that myself uh, so yeah next year i'm going to try it too i have no idea what i will be making in this journal the pages are really so tiny i never had such a small journal i had a few mini journals and i really like a mini journal format but this one is a lot smaller than uh, all the mini journals that i had before so it will be an interesting new journal to try out probably i will make here some small collages or something like that i don't know yet and also i'm going to start a new insert passport size insert for collages as well i usually use uh, one regular insert and one passport insert for collages and now i have here uh, an insert with pens and inks where i'm just testing new inks and fountain pens um kind of ink swatches and stuff like that and i will keep this insert uh, in here but i also will add a new one for collages and i think that's finally it was with, with my journals uh, it's really many i know now only planners has left and it's only two and first one is my uh, monthly and weekly planner or bullet journal and i'm going to use the same cover that i've been using all this year i will use it next year again this travels notebook cover uh, it's still december so i still have here this uh, two inserts that i'm using now but i already prepared new inserts and again it's a monthly insert exactly the same as this one and also a weekly insert also exactly the same as this one and for my weekly planning i use undated insert i like to decorate it and my own date stickers and i'm going to continue exactly the same system next year so i will be using this to insert uh, inserts and this planner is more like a personal planner i write down here all the plans that i have for a day sometimes also some work plans but also some personal plans and also some appointments and important dates and stuff so this one is more like a personal planner and i like to decorate it and this will be my new work planner next year everything work related will be in this planner and i hope that it will help me to stay more organized and i included here all the things that i need for planning work and it's a ring planner as you can see i never used a ring planner in my life never ever <laughs> this is the first time that i'm using the ring planner i know that many people like ring planners but i never had one and this will be uh, my first try 
So I hope it will work work for my purposes for work planning. So basically I have here also some uh, weekly pages that I printed. I printed all this myself. I didn't buy any specific uh, inserts for, for this ring planner. I just printed out everything what I need myself. Just uh, designed all these uh, things in Canva. Uh, there are many templates. There are already ready templates. So I just basically adapted them for my own needs. And here will be all plan, all my work plans, everything related to Etsy, to YouTube, to my Instagram page, and all all the shop stuff and things like that. So I hope that. Uh, this planner will help me to stay more organized and finally everything is in one planner in one place and I really like the design of this and also all these pockets. I still will add here some stuff that um, I will need for for this planner and also there are pockets pocket on the back and here even more pockets and also pen loops and stuff like that. So it's really, really nice and convenient. And they think also will be very convenient uh, if I need to take it with me because it's very light. I can fit in everything I need, take a pen, take some additional stuff if I need and put inside these pockets here. So uh, so far I really like this planner, but I haven't started using it yet. So I will tell you then later next year if it worked for me or not and uh, if I like to use it or not but I'm pretty sure that um, it will be nice to use this and it's from Kiroko Studio from a small business in Germany where I also order you know, some stationery rather often and this is designed by Kiroko Studio so Really cool, nice planner. And that's all what I will be using next next year. It's quite a lot already and I'm pretty sure that during the year I still will add something new. So probably in the end of the year it will be much more than this. But uh, this is my plan so far and uh, I know that probably many of these journals look kind of unnecessary. But I just like journaling. I like to try different kinds of journaling, different journals, try something new every year. I really enjoy it. It's one of my main hobbies. So for me, it's kind of natural to have that many different journals. And I like to separate things. I like to have different journals for different purposes. There is nothing wrong with having everything in one journal. And if it works for someone, it's great. But for me, it doesn't work. I just like to separate uh, things and have different journals. So that's why I have so many. So I hope this video was interesting for you. Maybe you got an idea for a journal that you also would like to try and start in 2023. And as always, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye.